Hey guys, so today we're gonna to dive into the medicine ball shot put throw a little bit and some common faults that I see when guys are doing this, not only in the rehab, but the performance setting. So med ball drills as a whole are gonna be great to use in the rehab process, especially when you're getting ready to build someone up to throwing. It's gonna simulate some of the dynamic movements that are gonna be put on that arm when they're throwing. So depending on the injury or surgery, you're gonna start maybe as little as two weeks or maybe as much as four weeks, six weeks before you get back to throwing. So going into the shot put throw. So the shot put throw is a single arm movement more than anything. So starting with some of the common faults that I see are, when we go to the hips first, guys won't use their hips to rotate through. And as many throwers know, your lower body and your hips is where you get most of your power for throwing. So what it might look like is, they're kind of just going at the upper back and trunk area and just rotating through like that. And that's gonna to lead to one, not as much power to be able to reproduce, but a bit more stress in the lower back, which we don't want. The second thing is if we look at that back arm, what we don't want is we don't want that shoulder popped forward here. So in that case, when that happens, we have no scapular engagement. So really what we want ideally is that back arm is back like this. So I'm using that shoulder blade to pre-position my arm back and I also want to be leaned into that back, back hip a little bit. So what it looks like all together, you're in that starting position here, you're bringing that arm back, loading into that hip, and then you're rotating through. So that's ideally what a medicine ball shot put throw would look like in both a rehab and a performance setting.